everybody, this is Tim from Action Job Brokers and we're here to take you for a tour around this really lovely looking 2007 Arva 215 in glorious virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking and we hope that this really fantastic feature will allow you to see or to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. Pretty cool, huh? Now some people are sensitive to the movement of the camera, so if you feel that may be you, then I'll let you know when I'm going to move the camera so you can avert your eyes, and then when the camera's now back down safely, I will let you know and you can return to the tour with me. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So let's have a look around this lovely boat, shall we? And uh, this boat may be used for fishing, which uh, generally it will be, or she could be used for a bit of a speedy runabout for a couple who just fancy port hopping or uh, hopping around the zone and that kind of thing in style and speed and with all the basic functions you need. So let's have a look at the cockpit. So here we go. Really nice size, plenty of room, high combings and high bulkhead here. So we're feeling really, really nice and safe in here, I think. We've got nice guardrails here and all around this boat. So uh, here, here, and around the, the forward, uh, around the forward deck lots of things to hold on to and we've also got to handle here as well so there's always something to hold on to in this boat when it gets bouncy which it uh, quite uh, could well do now the camera's sitting on a, on a bait well here so this is where you keep your bait for your fish but I can't open the lid because you're sitting on it but we can see either side of you we've got uh, we've got uh, rod holders here and we've got rod holders port and starboard and uh, if we've got people fishing then we've got these really nice seats that just lift up and the legs come down Go. and we've got a nice seat for two there so he or she could be looking after this rod and he or she can be looking after that rod hanging on hanging on etc so it feels really really well thought out now also underneath you which you may not be able to see we've got the a small cockpit locker here as well for your fishing gear so we've got built-in drawers here so uh, hooks floats etc could all go in there no problem at all and uh, generally we're, we're really well set up for fishing if i just uh, walk through here here we've got the companionway so really nice and easy to get through backwards and forwards and i've got a really great swimming platform here or platform from which to uh, launch myself into a dinghy or anything else plenty of room here we've got a ladder here which you may or may not be able to see a retractable ladder there for climbing in and out of the boat of and we've also got an auxiliary outboard motor um, stand there as well sort of bracket so if we wanted to back up the engine with a spare we could just bolt that on there and we'd be feeling really really nice and safe or even safer than we already do so back to the companion way really nice and easy isn't it um the cockpit itself really lovely space self-draining down towards the back underneath here which you can't see as well we've got emergency steering so we've got tiller steering there should the main steering pack up which we hope it never will and uh, generally feeling like we've got lots and lots of space around here i'll just stow the seat back down again so we can see the extent of the space we've got uh, stowages here for your uh, your nets etc port and starboard and if i just lift this lock up here you can see we've got a nice space under here in there we've got a horseshoe boy at the moment but there's all sorts of room in there for things like the uh, fenders etc etc good access to the bills too and if i just lift up the engine compartment there we go nice and easy easily done by one there we go on struts you can see what fantastic access we've got to this engine. I, as an engineer, um, I really like the fact that this engine isn't sat really low. She's sitting proud. Now she is obtruding into the cockpit a little bit, but that obtrusion is really nice and rounded and it's not too uh, not too high. So we could sit on it, we can put things on it, etc. But hopefully we wouldn't be banging our shins on it, etc. But just take a look at the access. So we've got a tank here, I think it's a fuel tank here. We've got the uh, batteries here, we've got the exhaust going out the starboard side there and it exits on the starboard quarter. Uh, we've got fuel filters, we've got water filter, easily accessible. I can see the bilge, we've got two bilge pumps down there doing their job if they need to. We've got the gearbox, we've got the controls, we've got the turbo there and we've got the engine. So really nice and easy to get to. If I want to look at this engine in a hurry, everyone just gets out, 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 out of the way. We just lift the lid and we're down and I can get to all the basics like filters, water, valve, etc, etc. Really, really well thought out and a lovely engine too, I might add. Sounds great. Just listen to the video elsewhere online. So here we go. Um, the rest of the cockpit, as you can see, I'm not going to take you forward, but we've got access port, sorry, port, access starboard, couple of steps up, 
quite nice easy access not hugely wide around the side but plenty of room there and we've got the grab rails all the way around including grab rails on the roof as well so you've always got something to hold on to which should keep you feeling nice and secure but other than that looks like a nice great cockpit to work from or maybe even to get the deck chairs out depending on what you're using this boat for so let's pick up the camera for the first time and we'll take you into the cabin so this is a, a, an all-in-one cabin, so we have sleeping accommodation, potential cooking, uh, cooking accommodation down here, but also the helm as well. And as you may have seen, I came down through the uh, through the companionway, really nice and easy. I'm five foot nine, so just touching the, de the deck head there or the the cover there. A little bit of manoeuvring around the engine cover, over the combing here, which will stop water pouring into the uh, into the fore, into the accommodation. Should there be some in the cockpit, down the stepping in, nice and easy. And as I said, I'm five foot nine tons and tons of room down here not so much under there where you would be sitting or sleeping but we'll look at that in a moment but uh, once you're in here what a fabulous place so, so let's think about safety first so uh, running the boat at sea where we want to be looking for other craft so we're on watch as a skipper great big windows all the way around we've got after windows here so even with the way closed we still got we're enclosed now, but we've got windows up so we can see everywhere, which is great. And of course, lights flooding in, helped just by the hatch up here. So open that up, open the companionway door up. We've got light and air flooding this, this uh, accommodation, which is absolutely lovely. Starting in the starboard aft corner, we've got stowage here, stowage here, two shelves, deep fiddles as well. We've got the helm seat, which you may or not may or may not be able to see from where you are. We can uh, fold down, well, there we go. So if we want to, we can just stand and steer. We can lift up this footrest here, but let's put it back up. Nice and easily done. Very, very quick and easy. There we go, seat back in action. And we can do the same again here. If you want a seat, or if you want to sit next to the helm, there we go. We've got a nice his and her seat, or a his and his seat, or even a her and her seat. But uh, really, really nice and easily done. And once they're up, they're feeling nice and strong. Very, very robust, which is great. But let's put that down just to give me a little bit more room. There we go. Out of the way. And uh, so let's uh, concentrate on the helm position itself. So if I just sit myself on the helm seat or balance myself on the edge, I can look around and again, as, as I said, I've got great view, which is fab, great comms to the cockpit so I can talk to the fishermen or the sunbathers out there. I've got uh, the, the, the engine control at my hand here. I've got the helm control here, which feels great, no problem at all. We've got the electrics panel down here, so all these switches. I can operate the windlass from here, so my friend can be on the foredeck watching things happen, making sure things work properly. And I can just raise or lower here, which is absolutely lovely. And in front of me, I have a small array of instruments. So I've got the fuel, content, fuel tank content indicator, I've got the engine taco, and I've got the various alarms. I can see uh, battery alarm, oil alarm, all that kind of stuff here. Everything you'd, all the basics you'd expect to, uh, to be able to run your engine in safety. If you just twizzle around behind you, you can see the compass there, right in front of the helm, which is great, and uh, right on the horizon almost as well, which is really useful. And here we've got this, uh, this fish finder installed, which looks like a really, really nice modern unit. And I should think that would help people like me locate fish, no problem at all. If you just look up, um, very conveniently out of the way, but very conveniently close to look at. We've got a chart plotter here, um, we've got uh, another fish finder here, and we've got the VHF. And then on the left-hand side here, we've got controls for both of the searchlights that are fixed on the coach roof up there. So uh, really, really, everything's just easy to get hold of. Everything's close, everything's been really well thought out. And I think it's, they've done a really great job down here. Well done, Arva, we like. As you can see, we've got the opening window here by the helm. Nothing on the port side, but the helm's the important person. So if you want to get some cool air across your brow, you can. But other than that, feeling like a very nice helm position indeed connect that with the cockpit you've got yourself a great working space i think so let's pick up the camera and we'll take you down to the accommodation there you go you're already there so you're with you're with me in the forward accommodation it's not far from the uh, from the helm as you can see but um given the size of boat there's lots of room down here so you've got a bunk here you've got a bunk there you've got an infill which if i took this red cushion off and the infill piece of wood you would find a porta potty so if you get caught out you should be okay on this boat 
and uh, generally speaking everything's pretty much as you would expect. The hull isn't lined with anything, it's, it's, uh, it's flecked but uh, looks okay and I personally wouldn't line it with anything because this is really easily maintained. Nice quick wipe, job done. Easy wipe upholstery as well, so uh, this should be really nice and easy to look after. We've got an athwart chips uh, shelf there, plenty of room there, it's deeply fiddled too, and we've got some stowage on the port bulkhead here. And if I just lift up this cushion here without moving the camera too much, we've got some stowage under the port side here and uh, bilge access too. Nice clean bilge, which is always nice, like clean bilges, um, but there isn't any stowage on the starboard side because this, uh, this part of the moulding finishes here because we need room for so we need to be able to stand here or the helm's feet. Um, other things to note down here, of course we've got the galley moulding here, um, looks like a, a small sink here, no water system on this board, on this boat, uh, pro possibly provision for a small cooker here and storage underneath and uh, we've got the main isolators on the after bulkhead there. Nice flooring, nice deck head, or the deck head is basically bare, bare gel coat, so all in all this boat should be really really nice and easy to clean. So let's pick you up, take you back to the cockpit. There we go. Two steps up and over the combing and I'll place you right in the middle of the cockpit where we'll just sum up about this boat. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Brokers just taking you for uh, a tour in virtual reality around this 2007 Arva 215. We've seen the lovely great big cockpit companion, companion way through to the swim platform. We've got the, uh, the bait tank, we've got the tackle box there, we've got the seats, easy access to the really really lovely engine compartment that looks very nice and clean as well down there and two big cockpit lockers either side. Access either side to the foredeck where we've got the, the electric windlass and access through the sliding companionway where we've got the really well comprehensively equipped helm console or helm position and we've got the dual helm position as well if we want it both fold up and down and then down in the forward accommodation we've got a couple of berths for the weekend and also a porta potty but all looking nice and clean really easy to look after so this has been tim from boat shed drop brokers i hope you've enjoyed the tour of this arva 215 do watch the rest of our channel for other tours we hope to see you again soon have a fantastic day